Hey guys, it's Penguin here, and welcome back to another gold making video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about vendor shuffles. Now, I've talked about this topic a few times in the past, but what makes this video special is that this is for 9.2.7. This is updated as of August 22nd, and this is going to show you how you can still make gold with the recent vendor change, as well as the region-wide auction house. So without further ado, I'm going to go right into this tutorial, but of course, if you guys enjoy the content, I would love it if you could like the video, and of course, subscribe if you want to see more. But without further ado, here we go. So to get started, I want to talk about exactly what a vendor shuffle is. And honestly, the name sounds like exactly what you're doing. Basically, you will be buying a set of materials off the auction house, crafting it using a profession into a specific item, and you will be vendoring that crafted item for some raw gold profit. The perks of this is that most of these things are AFKable, so you can do it when you're away from your computer, whether you're doing homework, you're taking care of the dog, you know, you're at work, you're making dinner, whatever it is, you can have this running in the background, and it can just make you some extra gold. Another perk is that it does not require you to sell on the auction house. You do have to buy materials, but this is basically guaranteed gold as long as you craft the item and the item vendor value doesn't get nerfed, which hopefully it won't. But with that out of the way, we're going to dive into exactly what vendor shuffles are good right now, and you are going to want to get a spreadsheet, which will be in the description. Now this is my personal spreadsheet, and it has been out for a while, but I have just updated it today. So if you guys have already had a copy of the spreadsheet, definitely make sure you have the latest version. And if you have never gotten this spreadsheet before, you're going to want to click file. You're going to want to make a copy. If you don't see this option, that means that you are not logged in to a Gmail account, but you wanna make sure to make a copy so you can actually edit the prices. Then once we are here, we're going to go to mat sheet or material sheet. And this is where you're going to input all of your server's data. Now, a lot of these things are updated for the NA region. However, prices are volatile. EU is a completely different market. So feel free to go through this. For today's video purposes, we're going to be looking at right here, the lay straight price as well as this little shuffling section right here. Of course, feel free to type in everything else for the rest of the sheet or just to look at everything else. But we're going to do exactly that and figure out the price of these items. So for lace straight, if we go into the auction house, right now, if we type in lace straight, we can buy lace straight for about, let's just say 3.5 gold. Now, the thing about these spreadsheets that I always recommend putting in the number that has a lot of quantity. For example, right now the cheapest is 2.4, but we can't really use that in the spreadsheet because we can only buy one of them, right? Like that would just give us fake value because we're not actually buying at 2.4. Now, depending on how much you plan to shuffle, you can input, you know, 3.42 because there is about 8,000 there. But just on the safe side, we're going to go to that this kind of like big bulky number. So we're going to go with the 3.5. So right here, we can change that to 3.5. Then the next thing is just this vendor item. If you have exalted reputation, it's going to maintain a 0.8. If you don't have reputation, this will be one gold. And if you have revered or honored, it'll be a little bit different. Then you have your three basic gems, which if you guys aren't sure what these are, basically it is just the generalized gems that you get either from prospecting or you can buy them off the auction house. So we're talking about Anger's Eyes, Orb Lace, as well as Umbral. Now you can think about this in two different ways. Of course, if you guys have never prospected at all, you don't own any gems, you can simply look up the prices, umbral, and type in, you know, about four gold for umbral. If we look up Orblaze, about 3.5 for Orblaze, etc. 
But what I do in the spreadsheet is as I am a legendary crafter, as I prospect a lot, whether that's for flipping and selling the essences, or I'm using those essences for legendaries, I am left over with a ton of gems. So normally what I do with those gems, because I'm left over with thousands, I normally just vendor them. And if I do vendor them, I get a value of 2.5. So I, you know, value my gems at 2.5, because if I didn't do the shuffle, I would be just vendoring them to the vendor. So this, once again, it comes completely down to you. You can use the auction house price if you don't have any gems yourself, or you can use the vendor price if you have a lot of gems laying over just from a side effect of prospecting. But once we're there, we can go to the fourth tab, which will be the glorious tab, and this is the vendor in enchant shuffles. And right off the bat, as you can see, we see some green, which is a very, very exciting. Now, as you guys know, if we go back to the mat sheet, Penumbra Thread right now is set at 8.8 .8 gold. Because recently, last week, there was a nerf to Penumbra Thread, which increased the price from 9 to 11, or 7.2 to 8.8, .8, depending on your reputation. Which is why a lot of these, you know, original vendor shuffles that were a part of the spreadsheet is in the red. You know, the shrouded cloth cape as well as the shrouded robe used to be one of the best shuffles out there, and now it is negative gold per hour. The composite bow used to be very popular as well, and yes, I mean, there's a little bit of profit, but breaking it down to profit per hour, you're making less than 800 gold, it's just not really worth it. But the great thing is, is that everything that doesn't use Penumbra Thread, so you have your jewel crafting and your blacksmithing, is untouched with this nerf. And as you can see, they are still in the green, and they're making anywhere between 4 to 6.5 thousand gold per hour. And I mean, I mean, the spreadsheet basically just explains exactly what it's doing, but for the case of the video, I'll kind of show you, you know, how I go about shuffling. But right here, with those inputted prices we put in the mat sheet, the current best profitable flip right now, according to profit per item, would be the Deadly Lacedrite Band. The vendor price of this item is about 31 gold, our calculated crafting cost is about 20, so we're making almost 11 gold profit per item vendored. Now, I've taken it a step further in showing you the profit per hour. Because what you will notice is even though we're making more profit per item with this band, we're actually making more profit per hour if we craft the choker. And the reasoning is, is that this choker takes a lot less time to craft. If we want to look at it inside the game, if we look up the deadly lay strike, we have the band right here. Now, like I said, this is making the most profit per item, but as you can see, it requires two doublets compared to the choker, which only requires one. Now, this doublet is a secondary craft, so you have to craft these doublets and then craft the choker or the band. The doublet itself, if we craft one, has a two second craft time, while let's say the choker has a 2.5 and the band also has a 2.5. So the fact that the choker only requires one doublet, that means you're adding 2 plus 2.5 for a total crafting time of 4.5 seconds to craft a choker. Well, since the band requires two, that's an additional two seconds. So if you're crafting bands, it's a six and a half second crafting time, which is why even though we're making less gold per item, we can craft more in an hour making the choker the best on this list. Now keep in mind, this will look very different depending on the prices you input. This is just kind of the reasoning behind the spreadsheet. Also, don't forget, we do have this weapon, which is blacksmithing. So if you don't have trouble crafting, you can definitely go with here, making a solid 4,000 gold per hour. Once again, depending on your pricing. But yeah, I mean, that is basically how this concept works. Let's say you want to go with the most profit per hour, so we go with the Deadly Lay Strike Choker. This is how you shuffle. What you decide to do is right here, you know, 
You either use the gems that you currently have, or you buy them off the auction house, and then you buy all the lace stripe you need. If we take a look at my current stock, I have almost a thousand orb lace, so I can make about a thousand chokers. So a thousand chokers, I need about 2000 lace straight. I just quickly buy it off the auction house and then I'm ready to go. Now this is a two step shuffle. So what you're going to want to do is start crafting those doublets. As you can see right now, it's gonna take me 33 minutes to craft all a thousand. So I can go get a nice snack. I can go work on some homework, go walk my dog, you know, go do a chore, do some laundry, whatever I have to do. And in about 30 minutes, all of this will be good to go for the final part of the shuffle. Then once these are crafted, you just do the exact same thing with whatever your final product is. So for the choker, you know, right now I can only craft 200, but it's going to cost me nine minutes. I can walk away, come back, and we'll be good to go. Now a thing to keep in mind is that once your inventory is full, it is going to stop crafting. But thankfully to our nice friend TSM, we can kind of stop this from happening. So if we open up TSM and we create a group, let's just call this shuffle, you're going to want to change this to base item and you're going to want to group whatever item you're crafting. In this case, we're making the deadly choker, remember base item, and we're gonna add that to this group. Then all you have to do is apply a mailing operation we can create a new one and just, you know, put in a random alt. Um, in my case, I'm going to send it to my main character and then we're good to go. Don't think too hard about what character you're sending it to, just someone who has inventory space. So don't freak out too much, but pick that right there. Then what you need to do, go buy a mailbox, start crafting whatever. So we're doing this. I'm just going to quickly clean up the inventory start crafting, open up the mailbox, and you can go to groups. You will see whatever you created. And if you hover over this, as you can see, it says hold shift to automatically resend items. So we can hold shift, auto resend, and click. So now every single minute as we sit here and craft, once again, I can be going and making a snack, whatever, this will every minute send whatever in my inventory to that character. So instead of getting a full inventory after 50 items crafted or whatever it is, this will constantly clear your inventory so it doesn't accidentally stop crafting. Now, of course, you will get kicked AFK around 20 to 30 minutes or a little bit longer if you're lucky. Sadly, there's no way to stop that. So just check back. I would not recommend trying to leave this for like two hours straight but you can get a solid about 30 to 40 minutes afk Then all you have to do is log over to the character you sent it to, loot all the mailbox, go to a vendor, scrap it all. And there we go. Sorry, I was waiting a minute, but as you can see, the inventory is cleared. Then of course, once you're done, you just, you know, I'm not gonna go log over to that character, but you just log over. If you have a scrap or peddler, you can mark this item as junk and then, you know, open up your inventory, click sell, and it sells all of them. Of course, if my inventory was full, it would sell all of them at once. But yeah, I mean, that is exactly how you vendor shuffle. If we look back at the spreadsheet right now, you know, these jewel crafting shuffles are making you about 6,000 gold per hour. Once again, that's not going to make you a millionaire overnight. But let's say you spend, you know, two hours a day doing that. That is 12,000 more gold than you're making normally. Especially if you're somebody who is at home, but you're just not on the PC for whatever reason. You know, take maybe five minutes before whatever task you're doing, set this up, start crafting, and come back in 30 minutes to an hour to just check what it's doing. You know, do this two hours a day, then you're making 12K a day, at the end of the seven day week, that is 84,000 gold profit from simply AFKing and crafting these items. But yeah guys, that is basically it for this video. I just wanted to talk about vendor shuffles, give you some ideas and just showcase that this sort of gold making is not dead. 
Now, of course, if they decide to start increasing all of the vendor prices, we may see some of these start becoming red. But as long as they don't touch the lace stripe settings, these bands and these chokers are pretty safe. So definitely keep up to date with hot fixes. Sadly, we can't really guess to see what they're going to do. But as of today, these shuffles are great. But everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, feel free to leave them in the comments down below and I will respond as fast as possible. If you guys want to be a part of our amazing community, feel free to join the Discord down below. That's the best place to contact me, as well as getting notified with anything involving the channel and the community. But thank you guys so much and have a good day.